What's good, everybody? Uh, you may have not seen from my intro. Yeah, I'm doing something different. Changing the look up on my scooter again. Uh, for this look, I will be using reflective tape. I have two rows. Each row is eight meters, which is 24 feet a piece. So I have a total of 48 rows or 48 feet of reflective tape. I chose the color red. I don't know why. I could have went with white, but I want to really stand out against uh, my white frame of my scooter. So I chose red. You guys may have may have not seen what the final outcome looks like. I don't know how I'm gonna structure this video just yet. Uh, so yeah, any if you guys wanted to try this on your own scooters, I like that kind of like snakeskin look. It has. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at night too. Uh, and the links to these will be in the description box below. <sighs> also, we'll, what will be in the description box below is a link to the newest Ramen on Wheels sticker. Yeah! Uh, the last ones did pretty good, so I was like, uh, well, let's make another one then. And I did, and that's it right there. So, if you want it, go and get it. Let's get it. I do want to say real quick is that before I even started this project, I kind of like, you know, wiped down the scooter, got rid of any like dust that was on it. So it's it's clean. I do want to say like, okay, if you are new to this channel, I did once Plasti Dip my scooter. So you'll see leftover like Plasti Dip of like pink and black. That's because I'm too lazy to go in every nick and cranny and peel the rest of that paint off. So that's why it's on there. Uh, if you guys want to see that video and you haven't seen that video before, it's in the card up there and I'll put the link in the description box below. Okay, I'm gonna start. Now, during this video, I will not be talking. Why? Because I don't feel like talking. So let me move the camera back here so you guys can get a full view of what's going on. And I will just start. I will start from here. Yep. I don't feel like talking during this video. I don't know why I say that because I'm still talking when I say that, so. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk. I just realized I might need to explain a little bit of what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna be doing is going along the frame of my scooter. I'm gonna be going like along the frame. Ooh, that might be bad going along the frame of the scooter and uh, see how that turns out. I don't know if I've seen many people do a project like this. I don't think I have. So I'm hoping that it comes out looking like Tron. Let me just get started because I know you guys are like, uh, can you get through the video if you guys haven't already skipped through it. So what I'm going to do first is cut the piece where I want to start it from. I want this to go along the frame, the white frame. So this, I don't want to have to like bend it and it bends. You see how it bends when I turn it. So I'm going to cut it right here. Then turn it and cut it again. When I peel this though, you can see that there's white underneath. Now, if you didn't know, reflective tape is uh, very, very useful when it comes to riding at night. Light bounces off the tape. So you become more visible to cars that are traveling at night. So that's why it would be a good idea to get reflective tape for your scooter, but it's not 100% necessary. But it's also just that added uh, protection against being seen amongst bigger vehicles.
Okay, with just with just one roll, I was able to do so far this much on both sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the second roll to fill in like the details and specifically do some like design on the front. Okay, this is the final look once I applied all this tape, 48 feet worth. Come in closer. It's got that kind of snakeskin vibe to it. We're gonna see what it looks like at night. So yeah, let's do that now. Yeah, do you guys like how that came out? I like it. Uh, uh, if you have any ideas how I can change the look up of my scooter, let me know and I'll give it a try, you know? It's pretty cool, pretty cool, I love it. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, links to these are in the description box below. It only took two rolls for it to cover my entire scooter. I have heard of people doing this to their cars so if you want to do it to your car, it's probably going to take a lot more than just two rolls. But it can have a very cool effect to it. And uh, yeah, if you want to order any Ramen Oil stickers, the link is up in the card section or in the description box below. Thank you for watching Ramen on Wheels, aka the Roadmobile. And I will see you guys another day. Bye.